Hi, this is Rich here. I'm going to walk you through a quick uh, example of how you can use the sample multimedia lesson plan template to make your own multimedia lesson plan and give you a specific example. So here's the multimedia lesson plan that we provided as an example for you. And what we recommend you do is you go up to the file menu and then make a copy so that you can have your own copy of the lesson plan to modify and make your own. So I'm going to be doing my lesson plan on a carbon calculator. So that's what I'm going to call it there. So this is made a copy just for myself and I'm going to rename it. Next thing I'm going to do is make an overall goal. What what is what do I want the learners to be able to leave this lesson knowing how to do at a very high level? So I'll put learners will be able to accurately calculate their carbon footprint. So next, learning objectives. I'm going to delete the ones that are here. Actually, I'm going to leave them there for now just so that we can have them as examples. But one one useful tool that I found for learning objectives is to make sure that they're smart. And by smart, I mean specific, measurable, attainable, relevant, and time-based. So in terms of learning objectives, um, they need to be specific enough. For, for example, with the carbon calculator, uh, there's a few different elements here. Uh, the first thing is being able to calculate the kilometers per year. So what are the learning objectives? So this is specific. It's calculating the kilometers traveled per year in all vehicles. It is measurable because we'll be able to see if they've calculated it. It's relevant because it's relevant to calculating the carbon footprint. And it's time-based. And I'll put by the end of this lesson, each learner will be able to. So the next thing would be air travel. Calculate the kilometers traveled using airplanes. Can be calculate the carbon footprint of your home. And there's food consumption, so carbon footprint. And the last one is consumable goods and waste. So there we go. That's the last one there. So I'll just delete these other ones from before. In terms of prior knowledge, um, I don't think there's really anything prior knowledge. Um, basic math to calculate distances traveled, access to utility bills. And in terms of delivery, um, again, it would be delivery by component. So I'm going to copy these. I'm going to delete most of these right now just to get them out of the way. And then up at the top here. Let's see, so to teach this, calculate the kilometers traveled, I'm going to say text instructions and 
end video. And this one, I think just text instructions would be fine for talking people through how to figure out how many kilometers they've traveled. I'm just going to delete the last of the This next one, calculate carbon footprint of your home. Let's look at that quick. I'm going to do that one with text instructions and oop, and screen capture. So we can show show people for example, their uh, BC Hydro website and where you'd find the consumption of electricity on that website. So in terms of uh, how they could show that they've completed this, they could post a graphic result from their carbon footprint calendar, calculator to a blog post or to a Brightspace assignment, of course. And then I always like to have a learner feedback survey uh, wherever possible, just so that people can give more structured feedback if they want to. So anyways, that's just a quick example of creating a multimedia lesson planner using a carbon calculator as the example of the, the tool that's being taught. I hope that helps you.